Okay, I'd like to welcome all of you to the 88th meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Uh, good morning, good to see all of you. Uh, we have, a, as usual, pretty full open session agenda and uh, making sure we get through that efficiently. Uh, we're in the good hands of Dr. Rudy Pizzotti. I'll turn this over to Rudy. Thank you, Eric. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the meeting. Uh, let me remind you that we are webcasting the open session of the council meeting, and there will be a video archive, just as there are for all previous council meetings going back to about 2011. Uh, when you wish to speak, please make sure you use the microphones. Even though we can hear one another in the room, the uh, webcast kind of goes dead unless you're um, using a mic. And if you have a comment from the audience, please step up to one of the microphones in the back of the room. We have several new employees to introduce to the council. When I call your name, would you please stand and remain standing so the council members can see you? Stephanie Morris. Stephanie earned her doctoral degree in biochemistry and biophysics from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Her postdoctoral work was done at NIH in the Laboratory of Receptor Biology and Gene Expression hormone action and oncogenesis section in the National Cancer Institute. She worked on chromatin remodeling proteins associated with cancer progression in a mouse model system. In 2012, Stephanie became a program director working in the nano delivery systems and devices branch of the center of the cancer imaging program at NCI. And more recently, Stephanie moved to the Office of Cancer Nanotechnology Research where she was involved in developing new strategic initiatives for translational technologies for cancer research. Stephanie is a program officer in the Division of Genomic Sciences, and she works on epigenetics, technology development, and the ENCODE project. Welcome, Stephanie. Jennifer Strasberger. Jennifer earned a Master's of Science degree in bioinformatics from Johns Hopkins University. She comes to NHGRI from the National Cancer Institute, where she was a program director for 25 years. Her, her portfolio of grants at NCI included research on post-transcriptional gene regulation, epitranscriptomics, and post-translational protein modifications relevant to the biology of cancer. Jennifer also served as the Genomic Program Administrator for the Division of Cancer Biology at NCI. For the past year, Jennifer has been on a half-time detail at NHGRI. She has served as NHGRI's Genomic Program Administrator and has worked with the NHGRI staff to develop guidelines to transition NHGRI-funded genomic data sets to the ANVIL repository and workspace. In January, Jennifer became an employee at NHGRI. She will continue her role as GPA for NHGRI, and she will also have a portfolio of grants in informatics and epigenomics. Welcome, Jennifer. Luis Cubano. Luis earned his doctoral degree from Kansas State University and did his postdoctoral fellowship at Tulane Medical Center. After completing his postdoctoral work, he became the assistant and later associate dean for research and graduate studies at the Universidad Central del Caribe in Bayamón, Puerto Rico. His responsibilities at the university were manyfold, but most relevant to his work at NHGRI, Luis oversaw the management and administration of the graduate programs in biomedical sciences, and he was involved in the design, development, implementation, and evaluation of many of the academic and training programs at the university. He also had substantial teaching responsibilities with graduate students and medical students. In 2016, Luis joined the National Institute for General Medical Sciences as a program director working primarily on training and workforce development initiatives. He joined NHGRI in January and will serve as the lead extramural training program director. Welcome, Luis. Genia Das. Genia earned her doctoral degree from the University of Kansas Medical Center. She was a postdoctoral fellow at Duke University, where she conducted studies on the G-protein coupled receptor OCTR1, which acts in chemosensory neurons to regulate innate immunity in C. elegans. Following her postdoctoral research work, Genia took a position as a program director at the Henry Jackson Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine, where she was responsible for overseeing scientific and administrative reviews of neuroscience and infectious disease research contracts. 
In 2019, she took a position as a health program specialist at NINDS. She will work here at NHGRI, but will actually represent both NINDS and NHGRI while working on the Undiagnosed Disease Network, which is a common fund project. Welcome, Genia. Natalie Linear. Natalie is a grants management specialist here at NHGRI. Prior to joining the NIH, Natalie served in both sponsored projects and departmental positions at George Washington University and West Virginia University. She was responsible for managing a diverse portfolio of grants and funding accounts that included awards from NIH and the Department of Education. Natalie obtained her Bachelor's of Science degree in Business Administration with a concentration in Finance and a minor in Accounting from Fairmont State University. Welcome, Natalie. And Lori Findlay. Lori is a new program analyst at NHGRI. She began working here last fall. Lori received bachelor's degrees in both biology and foreign affairs from the University of Virginia. While an undergraduate at UVA, she worked on a couple of research projects. One looked at Toxoplasma Gandhi motility patterns and the effects on the host cell. Lori also, wor also worked in a lab at the UVA Cancer Center and looked at the use of bispecific antibodies as potential cancer ther therapeutic agents. At NHGRI, Lori will work on the developmental GTEx project, the International 100K Cohorts Consortium, and the Undiagnosed Disease Network project. Welcome, Lori. I want to welcome the Council Society liaison members, uh, some, of us are, some of whom are here in person with us, and some are watching the webcast. Uh, Ellen G Giarelli from the International Soci Society of Nurses and Genetics, Mona Miller from the American Society of Human Genetics, Sharon Terry from the Genetic Alliance, Rhonda Schonberg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors. Uh, we have a couple of visitors. I think I saw Derek Scholes from ASHG in the room and Matthew Arn Arnegard from the Office of Research on Women's Health. Thank you for joining us today in person. Okay, to the council, I seek your approval of the September 2019 minutes from that, that council meeting. Are there any corrections or comments to make about the minutes? If not, can I get a motion to accept and a second? All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? It's the easiest thing you do all day. Thank you very much. Uh, please note on the open session agenda, we've posted the future meeting dates for 2020 and 2021 council meetings. Uh, if you notice any schedule conflicts, please let me and Comfort Brown know about that. And I yield the floor to Eric for the director's report. 